Championship, Championship, Championship. A new blog has dropped by FRC Director Frank Merritt. And if you haven't read into this yet, there's a lot to unpack here. Of course, for those in FRC, but also for those in any FIRST program with more about what's gonna be happening for championships, this is your FIRST Updates now. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to the fun. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting fun so we can continue to make content for you. Stryker makes some of the most revolutionary medical equipment and is a big supporter of FIRST and its participants. If you are looking for an internship or a career that supports you being in FIRST, check out careers.stryker.com to learn more. If your team or organization is hosting an off-season event, did you know you can stream it right here on FIRST Updates Now for free? Events that stream on First Updates Now receive an additional 25 to 100% additional viewership because we help you promote your event on a large platform. If you're interested, reach out to us on any of our social platforms, on Discord, or send us an email at admin at firstupdatesnow.com. Let's get your off-season event streaming on First Updates Now. Hurry, dates are booking fast, and we take first come, first serve for all our events. So if you're not familiar with the uh, FRC blog yet, make sure you do check it out. Uh, FRC director Frank Merritt uh, occasionally posting, of course, is going to get more common as we get closer to the FRC kickoff uh, for it. But posting a little bit more about championships in 2022 and uh, where FIRST is looking at going and really what it comes down to is it looks like right now FIRST is full steam ahead. So let's hop in this blog, unpack a little bit what's going on uh, and maybe give you a little bit more information on what this blog could actually mean. So we're gonna kind of just take this step by step and go through a few things uh, on here. First off, the uh, championship map, uh, which if you're not familiar with it, uh, comes out uh, every year and gets revised uh, just a little bit. Really the only revision uh, for this, if we look on here, is gonna be uh, Israel is gonna be competing at the Detroit Championships this year uh, just because of their holiday. Uh, and then they'll be going back to uh, Houston uh, in the 2023 season uh, as well. So, uh, you know, if you're not familiar, you know, with what championship your your team is planning going to? Um, I'm not sure if this is for all uh, programs. I think it is, but somebody can correct me in the comments if not. Uh, but definitely for FRC, you know where you are. So let us know what championship uh, you're looking at attending. Uh, of course, always an interesting line. I, I'd always be curious to see if this will ever change based on you know if more teams are are filing into one state versus the other. You know, we did see Missouri a few years ago. Uh, originally went to the championships, you know, when it was in St. Louis, which makes sense. And then they went to Houston afterwards. Uh, so curious to see if any other states will follow suit as well. Uh, more stuff to unpack on here, though. Let's start talking about championship eligibility. Now, this is specifically for FRC. Uh, so things to keep in mind for this. Uh, really, the only big update for this is now that rookie teams are now eligible to be on the wait list. So if you're a new rookie team coming in or you're mentoring a rookie team or you know somebody that's a rookie team, uh, that team now has... Uh, potential to go to the first championships if they didn't get a qualifying award already, uh, which if your rookie team is going to be something like you won the event, you got a wild card or rookie all-star uh, for this. So it's cool to see that more rookies are going to be uh, potentially there. Uh, you know, it's one of those things, you know, from a competitive standpoint, yes, it probably does mean a little bit lower competitiveness. Uh, but on the other hand, as Frank has mentioned in the blog, they want to increase their chance of a full championship in 2022. Uh, so this makes sense why they're going this route on there. But still, you know, welcome with that. I'll be interested to see if that continues in future years. I don't think it will uh, if things get back to what we would define as more of a normal uh, as well. Uh, next on here uh, as well, too, you want to mention uh, remote chairman's ward interviews. This is a big one here. I think this is really neat uh, that they are allowing this. And this is essentially saying that if your team qualifies uh, to present a championship uh, for chairman's uh, and you cannot make it for some reason, you know, there's going to be still be travel restriction. Even if everything goes back to relative normal, the odds that there's not going to be some teams that potentially get excluded from travel restrictions are pretty low. Uh, so this, you know, will allow it, you know, a team, you know, if there's a, you know, team from Turkey or Australia or something like that, that, you know, is getting that chairman's award or any other country outside of the States. Uh, if they can't attend for some reason, they actually get an opportunity to uh, present remotely. And I think this is a really smart move uh, by uh, the first in FRC to make this decision on here. I'm very happy to see uh, this as well. And of course, on the bottom, uh, Frank does note that in 2023, things are going back to you need to present the win for the chairman's award uh, as well. So making sense uh, so far for that. Uh, good news as well too. bring your own robot is coming back. 
Uh, so for uh, 2022, you can bring your robot to championships. I once again think that's a huge win uh, for for teams to not have to you know take care of all the shipping. I think for first, it's a big win too. They're not worried about the logistics through FedEx and and trying to get all that going and rely on their sponsorship and that sort of thing. So uh, good, I think all the way around. I think everybody's been pretty happy with bring your own robot to the championships, especially with the uh, end of stop build, which we haven't I guess heard an official thing on for the 2022 season. I would assume that's going to keep moving on. Uh, on there, but glad to see that that is going that way. Uh, and then awards, they are confirming that they are getting rid of subdivisions. Holy cow, I'm so happy this is uh, continuing through. I have hated subdivisions ever since. If you've been following first updates now, I've been very vocally against it. Uh, so very happy to hear that they're continuing their decision to eliminate subdivisions uh, and present more awards on a division level. It is so much less confusing, especially for those that are not in first, like, to not quite understand, you know, oh yeah, I want a subdivision. Like it literally, it's sub. It sounds like it's not worth as much, right? So very happy to see uh, these decisions as well. Now here's something that I, I'm, I have to admit, I'm a bit confused on. There's two things. One, uh, I appreciate that Frank has written this blog out, but what about for the other programs? Why, why isn't something like this coming from Chris Rake, who's the interim president? I'm a little confused why we haven't heard, frankly, any communication from Chris Rake yet. Um, I think this would have been a great uh, starting point for Chris Rake to introduce himself as the interim president. Uh, and then on top of that, to have some more things in regards to COVID protocols and what's going on for that. Uh, I know everything's in flux. I get that, but there needs to start being some like tiered system created or, you know, similar to what uh, we've seen in the U S uh, at least in my state where like they have these different levels of opening. I really would like to see that from first. Uh, and then, you know, if they still want to let each area decide, they can do it based on that metric or that chart of where COVID is on things, you know, what the transmission rates are, that sort of thing. So, uh, I think there's a lot of positives that have come from this, but I think a big miss opportunity, one, to hear from interim president Chris Rake. Uh, so Chris, really want to hear from you. We'd love to have you introduce yourself more uh, and, and step you know, out of that, that background that you've been in as you know in your previous role and be more in the light as president. We really want to hear from you. And then number two, uh, first, we'd love to see uh, at least some sort of structure on what your COVID protocols are going to look like. So uh, let us know in the comments what you would like to see from first next on there. Uh, and let us know, you know, where, you know, you think things are going to go. Are we going to even have a championship in 2022? Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep up to date on what's going on here on First Updates Now. And we'll see you next time on your First Updates Now. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting this video. Stryker is looking for current and future FIRST alumni to join their internship program and FIRST mentors who are looking for a great career with a company who actually supports their FIRST journey. Go to careers.stryker.com to learn more. You can also directly support FUN by joining FUN Nation. Click the Join button and just for a few bucks a month, you'll unlock special perks and directly support us so we can keep making great content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.